Welcome back to Blacks in Motion. Now, like I said in the beginning, I want to highlight two players with two totally different situations. And first, I'll start with the bag, Adrian Peterson with the NFL. Look, y'all guys need to go ahead and get this worked out the best way possible. Earlier this year, he was accused of beating his son and doing some bad, bad things, and charges were brought against Adrian Peterson. He went to court, he tried to do all these different things, and finally, he agreed to a misdemeanor charge. Well, after he agreed to the misdemeanor charge, it was up to the NFL to see if he violated the character conduct rule, which he did. But you know, Adrian Peterson felt like he was getting the runaround by the NFL. So he didn't agree to meet with them when they first wanted to meet at the disciplinary hearing and saw all these different things happen. And finally, Roger Goodell sends him a letter and said, guess what, guy? You're suspended for the rest of the year. That's right, six ball games. Now, we should have known that this punishment was going to be severe because they messed up with the situation with Ray Rice. But I don't know if it's fair. Yes, Adrian Peterson's going to appeal. Roger Goodell, look, you in the NFL, y'all have to figure it out. I understand y'all haven't had to deal with this type of stuff before, and a lot of this stuff is on the run, but y'all better figure it out because y'all are going to start to destroy people's careers, and that's not fair. Now on to the good. Right here in San Antonio, Texas, I want to highlight a great accomplishment by a great athlete for the very own San Antonio Spurs. And, of course, I'm talking about old man Riverwalk himself, Tim Duncan. Just recently, he eclipsed a 25,000 points scored mark. That's to go along with 14,000-plus rebounds and 2,500-plus blocks. And you say, Cliff, what are those stats? What's so special about that? Well, there's only one other person who did that that played in the NBA, and that's one Lou Alcindor later changing his name to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And I'm going to tell you right now, when you're able to st statistically hold your own against Kareem, that means you're doing something. Look, this guy has had success with the big three down in San Antonio ever since he came there as a rookie from Wake Forest. He's also had a chance to play, like I said, with the big three with Ginobili and Parker and win multiple championships most recently last year. And he's had his whole career there with Coach Greg Popovich, where they've developed a great uh kinship and camaraderie and those guys success are hand in hand so what's in the future for tim duncan hopefully there's ring number six for us right here down in san antonio but i just wanted to highlight that and take my hat off to tim duncan for his great accomplishment hey maybe you think tim duncan still can't hold a light up to kareem Maybe you think that Adrian Peterson got what he deserved, and I know nobody out there thinks that those college brackets are totally correct. Either way, I want to hear from you. Email me, cliff at blackvideonews.com. And as always, stay logged on and love us right here at Blacks in Motion.